It's an hour before sunup, and I'm floating alone, a hundred meters offshore, in the pitch black looking up at the constellations of the northern sky. For some, this might be a foreboding environment, but for me, it had an irresistible allure, which pulled me out of bed and into the cold dark waters of Vancouver Island. Within a few minutes of getting in the water, I spot spotted a kelp clingfish. I have been looking for these since the mid-60s, and despite spending hundreds of hours in kelp forests, this was my first sighting. my first dive, I dropped a few meters down an anchor chain. I haven't been night free diving for a long time and wanted something to help me keep my bearings. There were tons of shrimp on the bottom. I suspect at least some were coonstripe shrimp. Swimming at even shallow depths, it was pitch black without my dive lights, and looking up from the shallows, I could only spot the reflection of my lights on the surface and the moon hanging far overhead. Lots of daytime critters which were a lot easier to approach in the night, like this snake prickleback. Or this white spotted greenling. Notice the blue spot behind the head. I googled but couldn't find any reference to this marking, which I suspect is involved in mating. Possibly, this is a great sculpin. I kept scanning out at the limit of visibility, hoping to see something interesting swim in out of the abyss. Maybe a small shark, or a skate, or even a ratfish, but nothing like that ever showed up. For me, this was the find of the dive, an adult opalescent squid. Once again, I've been hoping to see these since the 1960s, and this was the first time. More shrimp and snake pricklebacks. Here's a shrimp kissing a snake prickleback. The prickleback doesn't seem amused. Another white spotted greenling, this time without a blue spot. Maybe a fluffy sculpin?
there were so many of these shrimp and of not a bad size. I'm sure somebody could catch enough to make a meal of them. After an hour of diving, the sunrise was coloring the smoky eastern horizon a bright red. The denzins of the night would be making their retreat back into the depths and it was getting on time for me to get back and prepared for the return to reality. It was pretty hard to swim away from this scene. In the end, I spent about an hour in the water and didn't dive deeper than about 10 meters or longer than a minute and 20 seconds. In this sort of environment, it's good to be conservative.